is Grace and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Chapter 11 The King Said No Exodus 5 to 12 Let God's people go, said Moses. He went to leave Egypt to worship God. Please let my people go now. So God said to Moses to take out the Israel's people out from Egypt. So Moses was gone to Paro and told Paro that please let my people go. We have to worship the, our God. No, said the Paro. God said, you must let us. Moses said again, I don't care what your God says, said the stubborn Paro. So, Paro was saying, no, I will never let your people go. And Moses said again, God said, you must let us go. And Paro was not obeying God. So, Paro made the Israel work harder. The people of Israel couldn't have enough, enough time to eat. God told Moses what to do Paro will be mean to you and the people, but don't worry, they will soon know that I am the Lord of Israel. So Paro work made Israel work hard, but even they didn't have enough time to eat. So one day, God told to Moses, the people of Paro will be mean to your, mean to you and the people, but don't worry. They will know that I am the true God. Moses said, let God's people go many times, but the king didn't listen to God. No, said the king, your people have to work for me. So, Moses came again and said, let my people go. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> but King didn't listen to God again. Paro said, No. Your people have to work for me. I will never let your people go. Paro didn't listen to God. And let's see what will happen. Troubled things began to happen in Egypt. The longest river in Egypt was changed to blood. Then frogs were everywhere in Egypt and dust became grams and lice. Flies came all over Egypt. So God punish the Egyptian people and all things, so bad things happened. But not in Israel, people, where Israel people is staying because they obey God and they are God's people. So, in 
Israel homes there nothing happened. So terrible thing began to happen in Egypt. The longest river were changed to blood and frogs were everywhere in Egypt and dust became grand and lice flies came all over. After nine terrible the stir one less terrible thing happened. The first son in each, each family, including the Paro's son, died. Mourning was heard everywhere in Egypt. As at last, Paro called Moses and Aaron, Go, said the king, take your people out of Egypt. The king was not stubborn anymore. God showed that his, he is greater than the king. So after nice horrible things disappeared, the last the ten horrible thing happened. Each first son has all died. Also, Paro's son died. So, all people were like crying in Egypt. How? But you know why? In where Israel people is okay because like God said to Moses that kill a lamb and eat it and the and put the lamb's blood on the door like that so God will pass yes today I read the Bible story did I enjoy and next time I'll read 12th chapter the Israels came out from Egypt Exodus 13 to 15 and next today we have read 11 chapter the king said no exodus 5 to 12 you know actually like here after the flies came over they have jesus in their body and also there were darkness and there were a rain what I have to say? A ring with the like stones, like. <laughs> anyway, so there were no and there were no enough food to eat, but also frogs came and ate the all last those things, and also got showed that. Oh, sorry. God showed that he was greater than the king. There's these things also. Yes, today I read the Bible story did enjoy the next time I'll read another story. The lesson next time. Bye!